Ross. Mate. Up. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Just met up with Ross and Bill Bow, and step one has been to find a bike shop and try to get a seat post bolt for my tarmac, and also buy some gloves because it was going to be cold. Lovely. Stage one, we're walking around Bilbao. Uh, it seems like half of the Guardia Civil will lay down their lives to prevent us from getting on the on the road. Um, so we're having a tricky time riding the stage, but having a blast. How are we doing? Good vibes. Good time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Quite epic. How we doing? Comment ça va? Bien. Doing well. Dude, my bottom bracket is fucked. <laughs> like, it's making some terrible sounds. <laughs> All right, Finn, how are we doing? Pa mal. Muy mal. We got some jet lag issues. Otherwise, having a good time. Day, day one. It's been a bad place, mentally. Not doing well. Legs, not really responding. But we're surviving. We will prevail.
How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? Camera should be pointed at you. You take the camera and set it again. How are you doing? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we made it though. San Sebastian, man. Rough day on the bike, but we made it. Ah, I'll show <laughs> Start of day three, hoping it goes better than the last one. And we're we're opening up at a bike shop, trying to get Ross's cranks fixed. It's not going well so far. We're at a second bike shop now, and things are going much better at this one. It's getting worked on right now. I think we're good. How we doing, Ross? You're on media duty. How we doing? All right. Somebody's a little speedy. <laughs> Things are going better today. <laughs> Venga, 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 venga! Attack the Roskelly! There'll be probably another place to get water in the way. At the top of the second climb, second big climb of the day, 40k of downhill to Pamplona. Doing good? Surviving? Como estas? Como estas? Rolling out. How we doing, Finn? 
We're doing all right. In the middle of uh, day three? This is technically day three from Bilbao. Day three of big rides. And we're about 600 meters away from what our map says is 13% for 600 meters. Now Ross is in denial <laughs> and believes that it's a misclick on our route and we'll be saved by a God that does not know or care for us. <laughs> Salvation. So we will find out in about two minutes if we will make it. So we are here. We're about to go up and over that into France. How are you doing? <coughs> How's it going? We're in the, the picturesque little village of Ochagavia. Ochagavia, yeah. Uh, it's at the base of the Port Pinaral, which is a climb famous for it effectively ending the career of Miguel Indurain by dropping him so hard he wanted to retire. It's beautiful, but a uh, big climb to go. Six. 6% for 10 kilometers. Up there. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. in France. Bienvenue à France. Ouais. You gotta get a video of this dude. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crisp tan lines. Gotta shave those though. How we doing? Good. Uh putting on sunscreen. Um Yeah, we're we're about to hit the Cour de Marie Blanc. to the top of the Col d'Obisque, 
Ross has dropped me, but I'm doing good. The cows are my friends. Ale, ale! Un kilomètre. Oui, oui. Bonjour. Bah. Just to send it. Please. Okay. It's like Victoria now. I want to stop by and just like talk to them. Do it. We are in the right place. Great job. W shop. Great shop. They did exactly what we needed them to do. Shout out Cycling Pyrenees. Uh, 20 euro for an emergency bearing replacement. And we're back on the road. Ready to go. And bonus we got Ross some gloves for the next time we're freezing on a descent. Alright, thing, where are we? So French police really do not want anyone getting up uh, up here to see the finish. They closed the road. They say you have to walk. So we walked and now we're hiking a single track trail along with half the population of France mm -hmm. trying to get up this climb. This dog tornadoing. Yeah. 
Close up, get the close up. Okay, close up. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're between greatness. How do you feel? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Cooking dinner here, and we've got a Euro chip review. This time it's Brett's Savu Chef. Piment d'Espelette. Um, really good. Surprisingly intricate flavor for a potato chip. And I don't know if these are bougie chips or cheap chips. There's a little bit of spice at the end. Super strong goat's cheese. Very strong goat cheese. Flavor. I mean, it looks they look pretty posh. It does look bougie. Pretty good. I'm, I'm a fan. And it bonus just, points for the ruffles. Gets a C on the Nutra score. I don't know. It's got that. It points. gets an A on the Finney score. <laughs> We've got the first ten thousand foot day on the menu. We're having breakfast from a from a market. So we've got um, cheese sandwiches. Ross's has ham. Big ass sandwich. Pan au chocolat. Candy, and uh, Monster Energy. Breakfast of champions. All right, Finn. How goes it? 8k yeah. to the top. Steep hairpins coming up. Are we doing better? How's the heat? The heat has died off. My allergies are really bad. I'm not breathing great. Um, my excuses are never ending, obviously. Uh, no doubt. So, but so is my resolve. <laughs> Onwards. How are we doing? Pretty good. Chilling? Yeah. Easy mode? Yeah, I mean, my knees are kind of feeling it. Seeing as I can't get into my easy gear. Which is what? Uh, I can't get into my 28. So I'm stuck on my... So you're rolling a... 25. 25 tooth. Ledge. We are almost three quarters of the way up the Tourmalet. Pretty much exactly at 5k to go right there. Doing good. Just gotta make it up to there. Up to that white car. Woo! Legs are burning. We're about to cross uh, 5,000 feet in altitude. Pressing on, huh? It's kind of small, but it's calories. I mean, there's not much sauce, but... <laughs> so we're, uh, we're three kilometers, three kilometers to the top of the asphalt. I think Ross is losing it. How we doing, buddy? Suffering, dude. 2.7 to the top. 3,600 feet total left. It's starting to rain, which is a little concerning. Well, for the Mr. Rain times. <laughs> I do have rain pants. It's also beautiful. Survived.
idea hold for a second. <laughs> Alright Finny. Finny boy. How we doing? 1.3k to the top of Parasaur. Trying oh, to outrun the storm behind us. Uh, spirits are good. Legs are bad. Yeah, we're nearly there. Just crested the top of the Parasaur, site of the historic Chris Froome downhill attack. Now it's time for the the famous descent into Banieres du Luchon. Hell of a ride, 10,500 feet. Now for the fun part. How we doing? Oh man. Nice. So we're trying to find water. <laughs> well, I was trying to find <laughs> Ross was trying to find water. And we found a friendly man who gave us water and ice cream. He may have been Jesus. Just another day. Just another day. He was kind of Jesus-like. Yeah. He was really happy to give us ice cream. He was like thrilled. And he was like a cyclist. Too. Yeah. He like one of his REI like mountain bike shirts on. Yeah. He just got back from a tour of the Pice Vasco. Legend. Legend. Base of the Portetta Spit. How we doing? Oh wait, has the climb actually started yet or what? Yeah. We've we started already, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, we have water, which is good. Yeah. We're so close to not having water, but luckily... It's not Cooler so. heads prevailed. <laughs> How was that? Pretty fucking hot. Back at it again on a lunch stop. This time we got some Euro chips. These are, uh, can you pronounce that? No. Uh, yeah, it's just this French word that you really, I, I can't even try and pronounce it. Babekhi. Babekhi. Where are we? That's actually completely different from American barbecue. No bullshit. This was a meme, now this is a legitimate room. So we're at our last stop of the day. The problem is that the market, the Carrefour, is about 6k from our Airbnb, which is which is all uphill, including a couple k at 10%. So we're trying to figure out how to get like dinner, breakfast, and snacks for two very hungry boys to the to the apartment. And Ross had an unfortunate accident with a box of cocoa puffs. Um, that, <laughs> that has resulted in an unfortunate amount of cocoa pups on the ground. We also have a liter of fresh milk. 
and I've got the very Euro baguette in the jersey pocket. We're ready to go. Oh my god. How are we doing, Finn? We're in the green. 10% is nothing. No. It's fucking easy. <laughs> We're almost to the top of the climb. Unfortunately, Ross had another incident with the cocoa puffs. And they fell onto the ground. So he had to stop on the hardest pitch to pick up his cocoa puffs one by one. The poor, poor man. He's been through it today. We have just arrived in our Airbnb in Foix. And I'm sampling the Lay's Fromage Bugles. Now, I'm curious if Bugles is a separate company here and they just partner with Lay's or if Lay's just owns Bugles or maybe Bugles in the States is Lay's. Mm, they're, they're classic, classic Bugles. Very good. I'd say better than the, the American nacho cheese Bugles. I'm a Bugle fan. Probably a, an 8.5 out of 10 right there. My hands are shaky because I'm on the verge of completely bonking. So I apologize for that. These are delicious. How are we doing? Good, good. I'm taking time. Kind of easy spin day. 60 miles. That's halfway. that's a hundred k. We're chilling. Yeah. Take your time. Had a lot of time. Had significant amounts of pastries. Of pastries. Good coffee. Yeah. No milk. No sugar. It's not hot either. Unexpected. It's like 84. Yeah, not too bad. Free temperature. Woo! We have arrived in Carcassonne. It is hot. It is fucking hot. You're fired. <laughs> One could say. I don't believe it. <laughs> We are on the road to Montpellier from Carcassonne. We got quite an early start because it's going to get up to 100 degrees today. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's hot. Is it hot? It's hot. It's not even... What time is it? It's like... It's fucking 10 a.m. It's 10.15. It's 10.15. It feels fucking hot. And it's almost like 90 here. It feels fucking hot. Yeah. Uh, Ross has gone through like four bottles already. One, two, three, four. Coke and an iced tea. Fudge. And a coffee. We're cranking watts. Two hours in. Two hours in. Oh, and it's 100 miles. It's 160 fucking kilometers. Yeah. We got survival much? mode.
152k down, two kilometers to go. Garmin is reading 103 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're both pretty much out of water. We just got to make it this last 2k. But it's brutal right now. It's fucking brutal. In desperate need of a morale boost, we turn to the closest thing Americans have to home in France. Maccas. After a lot of uh, deliberation and calling around, we've had to change our plans a little bit. We found someone who can get me contact lenses at a, a very helpful optometrist here in Montpellier, but they don't open until 9 tomorrow. Three K in the Mont Ventoux, starting this legendary climb. Not too hot. About 19 kilometers to go. You can see where we're going. Five K in. Ross has dropped me, but that's okay. I'll get him later. We are seven K in. Fourteen K to go. About exactly one third done. Um, I'm sticking to my pacing strategy. It's going well. Essentially, a lot of these sections are four watts per kilo to keep moving. So I'm a little over my pacing strategy so far. And Ross is way up the road. So I'm a little worried what he'll look like at the top, but. Maybe he's just on a super day. We shall see.
Alle Elfin! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going. Schau, schau sehr gut, ne? Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I'll just climb the trip. I mean, I went the hardest on it. So, by that measure, yeah. I would say the tourmalade was worse, though. Well, like, you know, I had a worse time. You know, the riders make the course hard, <laughs> yeah. not the route. Like, I. The tournament was harder, but I, I definitely went harder on this climb. Like I did more watts by a long way. You must have went. We were up there, like three hours ago, and now now we're back down here. Rolling out for stage 12, Mont Ventoux to Gap. 90 miles on the menu today, starting with the descent of Ventoux. Ninety k into Bedouin to Gap. It's been a beautiful day. Very much uh, transitional stage vibes. Going well. Fifty k to go. A uh, couple steep but short climbs, like two k at eight or nine percent. Two of those, three of those, uh, and then we're descending into Gap. But going well. Final drink stop right now, and then we're on the way. Reminds me of Lord of the Rings. I think it's either the Fellowship or I think it's the Fellowship where Sam and Frodo are like, like, oh my God, we we made it away, and then they look at like the distance they've got to go. This reminds me of. There's Gap. That's uh, that's where we're headed. Ooh, there's a big spire in the middle of it. I wonder what that is.
How we doing? Solid. Uh, 10 mile descent, more or less 10 mile flat, or descending, and the gap, watch the tour, it's a good day. Live the dream. Pizza. Official prediction. Who's gonna win? Pino. How's he gonna win? Breaks up in the climb. Either he's alone or a small group. And he wins the sprint. I'm gonna say basically the same thing, but for Ala Philippe. Breaks up in the climb. Ala Philippe and a couple others bring back whoever ended up up the road. Small group sprint. Julie in the glory. We shall see. He put so much effort into the start of this stage, and, and that was the kind of thing that he used to be able to get away with when he was on the tip top. For Sturvin, uh, who's also paying for his efforts, and no more legal trek in that front group. So the... We got our Lion cereal and our Senseo coffee. Doing good. Days off to a great start. <laughs> 10.16 a.m. We are rolling out. Today we got 106 kilometers on the menu. 11,000 feet of climbing, finishing up Alpe d'Huez. Bring on the day. One climb down. How we doing? Yeah, I mean that was kind of a you know, sudden start to the day. Yeah, 2,000 feet. Right out the gate. Pretty busy road too. Very busy. Busiest Kinda road. Probably the busiest road we've been on. Busiest road we've been on for sure. Might have been like the worst coal we've done so far. I would say so. And then the end was just like steep for no reason, so that was fucking annoying. Uh but one climb down. Out of four. Three to go. Three to go. Yeah. Forty K in, sixty five K to go. Basically just uh two big climbs and then a big climb called Alpe Duez. Uh, got some Cokes, got some Ben and Jerry's, got some Pano Chocolat, pretty little town on a lake, pretty nice. Anything to add? Honestly, it's tell us, Tell us what we got here. It's a machine. What, what is it to say? In three minutes. I am tempted, but unfortunately. If we'd seen this before we got the croissants, I still would have wanted mine. It would have been on like Donkey Kong, my friend. I think you would have gone for it. Alas. How was your, uh, how was your 25 tooth up that? I was grinding. Rise and grind? I was. Grind set? Grinding big time. You got butterflies on you. Where? On your helmet. It's taking a ride. Look at that little guy. He's making a cameo. What a beaut. Third climb done of four. We may have uh, used our biscuits a little too early. Oh, as Sean yeah. Kelly would say. Lump pretty hard on that one. But, time to descend in Alpe d'Huez.
very salty, salty boy. So good. Uh, <laughs> I'll feel so good. Mom, come pick me up. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out. I want that as a reminder to never come here again. <laughs> Anywhere else. But not here. Let's get the fuck Our Airbnb today is just someone's apartment. So, uh, headed up there. Quick rinse off. Now we're headed to Intermarche to go get some dinner. A success? Yeah, it was in the door. I left the key in the door. We're a little bit cracked, as the kids say. Anyway, you were saying. Oh, no. We're out here on our rest day. Uh, I visited here when I was two years old and my family had some pictures. So we're out here trying to recreate the exact picture of my two-year-old self and my five-year-old sister at the time uh, at, the, at Lac Noir, just behind Alpe d'Huez. So we hike biked it. Pretty, uh, pretty good rest day. Albertville. Kind of last day. Big day on tap. Last big day for me. Um, and the weather is looking interesting. Base of the Col de Madeleine now. 20k, 8%, 5,000 feet. We're teaching it. My last coal of the trip. 3k left in the Madeleine. Holy shit. Hot, steep, unrelenting. But beautiful. Got blown by by someone from UAE a couple minutes ago. That was fun. <sighs> Hard day.
getting ready for our final day spin to Annecy. This is easily the best view that I've ever seen out of a bathroom window. Top notch. Emma's getting on a train in a couple minutes, so we have set off for Annecy. One final spin. And, uh, yeah, we're racing the train a little bit. Gonna see if we can beat Emma there. I think that was both of our best effort of the trip. Definitely for the year and, and for, like, the year. for the year. I'm, I'm not I think me that. too. I think that was my 20 minute power for the year right there. So that's pretty fucking. Maybe for maybe for a couple years even. So I'm, we're stoked. I'm very stoked. We're amped. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Strava just routed us down a staircase. <laughs> Get on. Strava, you gotta fix this. This is ridiculous. Strava app routing, terrible. Be better. Terrible. Be better. A lot of people. A lot of Man, safe travels. See you in Paris. Just got into Paris. Um, our first train was late, so we missed our connecting train. After getting a new connecting train, we got into Paris, walked about a mile to the other train station, which was the only train that had a train that took bikes on it. And then that train uh, wasn't running. So 
Now I am biking across Paris, trying to get to where we need to go, and Emma's taking the metro. Inshallah, we both make it. Riding the Champs right now. They're already getting everything set up for the tour in two days. You somehow ended up like on the highway going that way. <laughs> Have a pizza. Thank you. Google thought you were like way. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Our epic hero has survived. How we doing? I'm, I'm ready. I'm done. I'm done. He's had enough. I've sure. had enough. The the run into Paris on like the, the whatever scene. that is <laughs> was enough. That was enough. I'm done. legs. I really hurt. <laughs> Every time I bend them, like, oh my god. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 